We are getting a check on things in northern Litchfield County, one of the areas that has seen the most snow. That's right. So right now we're joined by the public information office or the public information officer for the Norfolk Fire Department, John Barbagallo. So good morning, John. We have certainly been hearing of some slick spots in northwestern Connecticut. Have you heard of any issues? Well, thankfully, uh, our emergency services haven't been too busy overnight. But with this latest burst of snow that we're currently going through, uh, both the state roads and the town roads are pretty covered, and which is why it's leading to uh, some of the school delays in this area. Yes, which, by the way, our viewers can find on the Channel 3 app. Uh, um, as far as treating the roads, now, when we last spoke with you, you had mentioned that much of the highway budget had been used on road repairs from flooding back in July. Has that affected the town's ability to get crews out there to treat roads on mornings like this? No, not at this point. Uh, we're, we're doing very well as far as manpower goes, and we, we have plenty of reserves of uh, salt and sand, and the uh, town trucks are doing well as, uh, you know, uh, staying uh, healthy and mechanically are uh, very sound. John, you mentioned some delays in your area. What would be your advice for other drivers, that even if they're not impacted by those delays? Is this the kind of thing where they should probably wait it out as well? Yeah, I mean, if you can give yourself a few extra minutes and wait till the plow crews can uh, finish doing another scraping and another pass of your route, great. Um, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not too bad out there. You, you just got to give yourself a, a few extra minutes. Right, and that's the warning that we want to heed to all drivers out there, especially in your neck of the woods, because it's just like that little coating that can snarl things up a little bit, right? Well, it's about 30 degrees, and the snow since yesterday has been, like, heavy and greasy. Yeah. So it does make for uh, slippery road conditions. All right, John, thank you so much for joining us on this Monday morning and giving us an update for road conditions in Norfolk. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, John.